I know the last time I think I filmed a Kate's Kitchen, I got food all over my apron, but don't worry, I've washed it. Good enough. Hey guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing Victor Fantastic Eve Raskin. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna be doing something quite, well, I actually don't know. I think it's gonna be quite delicious. I've seen it a lot online and I really wanted to make it. I just never got around to it. And I'm getting around to it tonight at 11 p.m. All you're gonna need for this is a lot of spices and seasonings and garlic and uh, tiny little potatoes. This should be a very easy dish. I've never done it, but it looks easy. The hardest part is smashing the potatoes. It's not it's not that hard. First things first, we have a pot of water. We're gonna put our potatoes in. Don't do what I did. I put too much water. Stand by. And we're going to boil our potatoes for 15 minutes. However, you're supposed to add salt. We're gonna add a handful of salt. I'm actually gonna measure this for you. We'll do half half a teaspoon of salt into the water. So once that's done boiling for 15 minutes, we're gonna get a fork and we're gonna puncture it. And if it goes all the way through perfectly fine, then they're done. When that starts boiling, then I'm gonna start the timer. But for now, I'm gonna create our concoction that's gonna go on the potatoes. I should probably measure this. We're gonna do a fourth a cup of olive oil. And that sounds weird when I say it. Olive oil, o olive oil, olive oil, 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 olive oil. Ew, that sounds gross. That even say, get, get down. I gotta get my oil changed on my car. Why is it so hard when it's with an olive? A fourth a cup of this stuff. Nice and greasy. I may add more later, but we are going to do half of a tablespoon of garlic powder because I'm a garlic whore. Maybe like, okay, that's not enough. Don't worry, I got you. About a teaspoon of dried basil, about a teaspoon of onion powder. Oh, this was a <laughs> this was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt. I have this, it's called um, 21 Seasoning Salute. Looks good, about half a teaspoon of that. Oh my God, <laughs> pepper, pepper. <laughs> I'm dying. Bloop, 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 three taps of cayenne pepper. And then for the final finale, <laughs> my minced garlic, we're gonna do one whole tablespoon. Actually, let's just do, we'll do a, a tablespoon and a half of garlic, minced garlic. I told you I'm a garlic here. And now I'm going to uh, mix this up. It's gonna look like kind of like a, a, a very thick paste. Looking pretty thick. I may add a little bit more olive oil. Oil. I may add just a, like a little bit more. You can kind of just do the sauce however you please. We're just making the potatoes flat and crispy. However, I really like garlic and so I want them to be very garlicky. No, you do not want to take this on a first date, no. Maybe give it like three or four business days before you eat this and go out on a date, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I think that's stirred enough. Now let's make room for the potatoes. Is it boiling? Nope, this is fine. I'm fine. Ready, here we go. This one punctured. Potato. Put all the little potatoes on here. Oh, I forgot to mention before, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Why do you have a string, sir? He's still got the umbilical cord. So now he may be like, okay, well, what do we do now? We just have a bunch of little potatoes. We're gonna crush them. I'm gonna zoom you in. We are going to uh, crush them down, I guess. We're just gonna make them flat, <laughs> kind of. You don't wanna do it like too much. You want it to have like a little bit of thickness to it. This one's probably not enough. There we go. Oof, oof. <laughs> All right, big one got a little excited. Uh-oh. <laughs> we have one down. There we go. All right, last one. Okay, now we have our crushed potatoes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our glaze, garlic glaze, and we're just gonna we're gonna go over it all. You know, I'm gonna flip them and put it on the other side too. You know, funny enough, I was gonna do the other side, but I'm out of my glaze now. So <laughs> I did put this on tin foil, so maybe it'll be okay. I feel like I'm supposed to do both sides. I'll give it. I'll try. We'll get our little spatula here and um, flip them. Did I, did I say I'm winging this? Cause I'm winging this. I saw videos like on like just how to do this. I'm not following any specific direction. Quickly brush over these. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of the sauce left. I'm gonna get pieces of butter. I'm not gonna measure it out. I'm just gonna measure with my heart. I'm just gonna put little pieces of butter like scattered around here to kind of give it a little buttery flavor here and there. Maybe a tablespoon. So we're gonna put this in for 15 minutes on one side and I'm gonna flip it and then 15 minutes on the other side. 15 minutes, starting now. It has been 15 minutes. Ugh. They're basically mashed potatoes right now. 
maybe don't flip them. I'm gonna put them back in for 20 minutes. And we'll see if, uh, see if that works. I'm just gonna flip them and we'll put them back in for another 30 minutes. Hey Google, set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. It's been in here for so long, I don't even think it's crispy. Oh, my garlic burnt. It's not even crispy. Why is it not crispy? I am so mad. So I don't know why they're not crispy. They're supposed to be crispy where you like scrape it and it, it sounds like a crunch. Didn't really follow a recipe because I didn't. I saw how long to cook them essentially. I made, you know, all of this stuff myself on what sounded good and then I followed instructions on how to make it crispy. Boiled, 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 and then I made, the, they didn't follow that. Then they put on here, they crushed them and then they put it in the oven 400 for 30 minutes on each side. That's what I did. And then look at it, crispy. I think I followed a bad recipe. Let's do a taste test, I guess. So here we have my very sad potato. It's supposed to be crispy and it's not. It's like none of the seasonings even stayed on it. The, but the butter, maybe there, I don't know. Let's see if it even tastes good. I don't want to burn my tongue, I'll tell you that much right now. You may be like, wow, Kate, that sounds crispy. Pretty sure I just ate the burnt garlic. It's like, it's like chewy. It's not bad. It's, I mean, it's not good. I'm still gonna eat them because I'm hungry. Maybe I just need to make like a little bit of like a chipotle ranch or something. What do you eat with potatoes? Maybe if I add like spicy sour cream. This Kate's Kitchen is a fail. I regret everything. <laughs> just not even that good. Well, I tried. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Goodbye. I changed my mind. They're actually pretty good. With sour cream and hot sauce, they're pretty good. And now it's one in the morning and I need to go to bed, so bye.